Have you ever wondered where all of the trash in streams comes from? Hello, this is County Extension Agent John Pennington for Agriculture and Water Quality in Washington County. And today I'm going to be talking about how stormwater runoff can carry lots of trash and other pollutants into streams. Stormwater is the flow of water across the land surface that is caused by precipitation such as rainfall or snowmelt. When it rains or another precipitation event occurs, several things can happen to that water. It can soak into the ground, be used by plants, be intercepted by plants, be evaporated back into the atmosphere, or flow across the land surface towards a waterway. The portion of water that runs across the land surface is called stormwater runoff. This runoff can pick up pollutants such as automotive fluids, soil, fertilizer, trash, pet waste, and yard waste, among other things, and carry them directly to waterways like lakes and streams without being treated or cleaned. In addition to carrying pollutants from the land surface into waterways, Stormwater runoff can also cause localized flooding, stream bank erosion, and property damage or loss. Oftentimes, stormwater pollution and flooding is more problematic in urban areas since there are more impervious surfaces or areas that do not allow water to soak into the ground. Impervious surfaces include parking lots, roads, rooftops, and concrete line ditches, among many other types of impervious surfaces. Since these impervious surfaces do not allow water to soak into the ground, this causes unnaturally large amounts of stormwater to be directed to streams much faster than in a rural or a natural setting. For example, Urbanized areas can shed 55% of the rainfall as stormwater runoff, while undeveloped or rural areas may only shed about 10% of rainfall as runoff. In cities, stormwater runoff flows down storm drains and is collected and concentrated in underground storm sewer systems that increase the speed and force of water and deliver that water directly to streams. During and immediately after wet weather, water from these storm drain pipes empties directly into creeks and streams and can blast out stream banks and cause severe flooding. Stormwater can be very problematic for renters and homeowners, property owners, municipal governments, and water quality as development requirements and pollution prevention practices can vary from county to county, state to state, and watershed to watershed. No matter where you live, though, you can be sure to do your part to help protect water quality in your watershed by learning more about stormwater and best management practices that you can use to help prevent the transport of pollutants by stormwater to the waterways of Arkansas. For more information on protecting water quality, contact your local county extension office or watershed partnership. This podcast was funded by the Arkansas Natural Resource Commission and Environmental Protection Agency.